Asina Bon activist was seen urging the Northern Christian not to vote for the Christian candidate from the South, particularly the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi, purporting that a vote for Peter Obi will amount to a vote for Bihafra and a secessionist. Mandy further claimed that Northerners, both Christians and Muslims, have been discriminated against in the Southeast, Southwest, and South South. Hence, is the speakable hurting details in the video. This is a message to my Northern Christian brothers and sisters, specifically for you. Why? Because if you go to the South South, to the South East, to the southwest. A Christian from northern part of Nigeria is a northerner. Simple. If there are a breakdown of blood orders in Enugu, they kill everybody, whether a Muslim or Christian, coming from the north. This is the record that is on ground. Nobody can deny this. Christians of northern extraction. Think wisely, act wisely, behave wisely. You have no business voting a southern candidate based on Christianity. At the end of the day, his agenda is not you. His agenda is his own tribe. If you pick or be, his agenda is not Christianity. He could be a fantastic Catholic. But below the below the Catholicism, he is a die-hard Biafra. If you vote Obi, you are voting for Biafra. No missing of the words. If you vote for Biafra, you are voting for the destruction of the North. Tell me, a Christian from Taraba, Nasarawa, Kogi, Kwara, Kaduna. Kebbi, Sokoto, Bauchi, Gombe. Tell me what you drive, the benefit you will drive by voting Obi. Just tell me one single benefit. And the answer is there is none. If you want to know the answer is true, go to Inugu, go to Aba, go to Inewi, go to Akwa Ebom, go to Go, 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 go to every part of the south. Well, reacting to this video, some nocturnal headers have called out Madin over these provocative videos that have went virus on social media, wherein the so-called human rights activist was seen demarcating the presidential candidates from the southwest part of the country. In the videos just as we have watched, the casino born activist was seen urging the Northern Christians not to vote for the Christian candidates of the Southeast Peter Obi. In angry reactions to the development, the coalitions of the Northern Elders for Peace and National Unity described the dispositions of Mandy as a deceitful, provocative, and culpable for inciting ethno religious tensions. While insisting that the outing constituted hate speech and fake news, the elders called on relevant security agency to arrest, interrogate, and where culpability is established, persecute him to serve as a deterrence to others who may contemplate such informants, part, especially as political parties will soon commence their campaign. In a statement signed by the National Coordinators, Professor Adu Kadi, Mohammed Gumi, National Secretary Ajia, the elder maintained that the positions of Mandi was brazen attempt to incite Christian against Muslim in the north. On the other hand, the Northerners engaged Satan on the other hand. As a responsible Northerner elders, we review the videos by Sheu Mandi has a deliberate attempt to instigate ethno religious tensions in the countries, called on the relevant security agency to take him in immediate for questioning. We further enjoined our people to disregard the provocative comments made by Mandy.
even as we urge them to vote for the presidential candidates of their choice, devoid of ethnic, religions, or political consideration. They are not Christians. I've watched the video of Shehu Mahadi, you know, where he's sending a message to you and saying to you that you should not vote Peter Obi. <laughs> First of all, I would say that video is disgusting. That video is insulting. That video is condescending. That video shows the regards that some have for you. I want, to, I want you to ask Mahadi Shehu, where was he when the Bora was killed? Did he stand for the Bora? Was he there for her family? Who killed the Bora? I want you to ask Mahadi Shehu, where has it been all this while that you have faced all sorts of discrimination. I want you to ask him, where has he been when your life was threatened? When you've had to run for your life sometimes? Where has he been when it was time for appointments and when it was time for you to be made part of the nation? Today he comes out to tell you that you should not vote for Peter Obi because according to him, it will not get you anything. What have you gotten from all the time that you voted for whoever it was from the north? Why did we get to a place where we had a Muslim Muslim ticket in Nigeria? With all of the things that have been happening, with the need for a balance and the need for equity. What happened? Because there was no value placed on you as a northern Christian. That was what? Simple as ABCD and nothing else. We must call a spade a spade and not a garden implement. And the truth must be said, no matter how bitter it is and no matter how angry some people would be. They didn't see you as anything. You didn't matter. Because the moment APC had a, Christ, a Muslim southerner, the most equitable thing was for them to have a northern Christian. But you saw all the things that we were saying. A good number of people were saying that no, they will not vote a, a northern Christian. They will not want a northern LDTIC, even as vice president, not even as president, as vice president. Yet now they have done that. Now they are telling you that, oh, you have to now vote a northerner. You were not a northerner when it was time for them to consider who becomes the vice president. You were not one, one of them when it was time for them to consider who is going to take the vice presidential slot, who is going to be the running mate. They all of a sudden, you are now one, a, a northerner because they need your thumbprint. Your thumbprint is more important to them than your life. That's what uh, Mahadi Shewu practically came out to say. It's so disgusting that in this time of our nation, where Nigeria is bedeviled by so many things, insecurity, the, the economics is bad, the whole indices were going downward. Some people are still playing the religious card and they're still playing the tribal card. Where has the religious card and the tribal card gotten us to in Nigeria? Are we not all suffering? Where has this man been when you were threatened? Where has he been when a lot of people have been killed on their farms? They've been killed in their houses. They've been killed in their villages. Today, he comes out to sit down and tell the, 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 the Northern Christians, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, what insult. For those of you that sat down in that room and you were able to listen to him, I don't know whether I don't know what to say. I would just say, well, that kind of calm. Maybe ha ha ha. I don't know. How you were able to see him, watch him spew all of those disgusting things, and nobody raised a voice to stop him. It 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 beats my imagination. But I'm sure it's this kind of calm where I could see some just looking at him. I'm like, be done with us. Wow. All of a sudden, yes, the northern Christians are now northerners. Yet the Northern Christians are now one of a family. But yet, when it came to picking who becomes vice president, not even who becomes president, or vice president, they were told that they are nothing. You need to ask Mahadi Shehu, where was he when the Bora was killed? The Bora is a human being like every one of us who had a right to her opinion, where was he? It is time for election now. They bring all sorts of, all the things that they bring, 
and at the end of the day people are suffering <laughs> it's such a disgusting video such a disgusting video such a disgusting video that in 2022 with the insecurity that is plaguing the north people are still playing the tribal card the ball is in your hand are you going to fall for it once once again well with notwithstanding still on the issues of mandy provocative video professor isa ebuba the general overseer of evangelical outreach ministries international have counter the claims of Shehu Mandi. Reacting to the divisive message by Shehu Mandi, Prophet Isa Ebuba called Mandi a liar. He also said he is a non-term Christian whose church is located in the south. He also declared his support and vote for Peter Obi Dittins in the video. I want to make an address for one minute. There is one man called Mahdi, Mahdi Usman, who spoke few days ago and tried to speak lies against the Southern Church and again the Southerners. That we Northerners that are Christians will come to the South and we find it difficult to get a land to worship God. And I want to say to you, Mahdi Usman, you're a liar. That is not true. I am a northerner and I am preaching here in the south. And I want to say that it's time up for the lies that some of you have been lying for all these years, 62 years. The end of your lie has come. You northern christians and northern muslims will prove to these wicked men and women that your time is up and 2023 we are all going to vote for peter obi I want every one of you to know that nothing can ever threaten my stand. I am not for you. I am for God and for the Nigerian people. Muslims here in the south are having their mocks. Nobody has stopped them. So don't tell lies to the northerners. I know there are LP members here, so it's not about party. It's about a person. I am a father of all. But I am a father of one person from the family to lead the family. Our Mumu. Thank you very much for watching our video to the very end. If our host subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch our videos from Facebook, from YouTube. We really appreciate everyone that are supporting us. If it's a first time of coming across our videos, why not take a moment of your time to visit our platform and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the only way you can support us by sharing and commenting and hearing your view about these specific videos. Until we meet again, stay to Plan B TV. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified. And I see the show your support. Now say God, God bless you too. Thanks on the bed. Plan B TV. Plan B TV. Plan B TV.
Flambiti, oh, Flambiti, Flambiti.